Hello and welcome back everybody. It's been a little bit. Music. It's a part of every culture worldwide and its influence can be felt everywhere you go. From your own playlist to the waiting room of a doctor's office, music is everywhere. Now, some of you may be asking, Duel, why are you talking about a doctor's office when you're standing in the upstairs bar of Falador? And to that I answer, shut your f***ing mouth. I won't be taking any questions at this time. You can save those for the end. Music in video games is a topic I've wanted to talk about for a long time, and I thought what better way than to talk about the music in RuneScape and compare it to music in other games that I played while growing up. And when I say compare, I don't mean to see which is better or more popular because none of that really matters. Compare as in what the music in these games represents and how they affect people while they played them. But before we get into that whole spiel, let's talk about RuneScape's music as a whole. RuneScape's music was created by James Hannigan, who was a composer from Britain, who has some credits in some pretty major projects, and someone else who we won't be talking about. We will, however, be talking about how these tracks were made, with a little program that some of you might be familiar with called MIDI, or Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Now the whole MIDI thing is a rabbit hole in itself, but to put a super simple breakdown of it right now, MIDI does not send a sound wave of an instrument like how an MP3 or WAV formats are designed to do. Instead, what MIDI does is it takes in the information of a music note and sends that inside of itself essentially and generates the sound that way. Now you can start to see why RuneScape's music sounds the way it does. Being that it is MIDI generated, it has that kind of garage band synthesized feel and sound to it. And it really works for this game. It may have been due to some limitations back then by the developers, whether it be budget or technology, but when they set out to make music with this MIDI program, they created some of the most iconic music in video game history. Just listen to this banger. When I hear this music now, it makes me think of RuneScape. And when I say this music, I mean MIDI music in general. I just kind of think they're synonymous, even though I know that there's a whole vast genre of MIDI composers out there. I know that MIDI has been around for a long time, longer than RuneScape has, but it's undeniable the impact that this game's music has had on me in the short amount of time I've been playing it. Now, I want to take a second to zoom out of RuneScape's music and talk about the music in video games in general. I know, I know, I baited you all in with the RuneScape title and the thumbnail and I spent the first few minutes talking about it, but hey, it's my video and I'm going to pivot away for just a second. Music in games makes the experience. Some of the most iconic soundtracks from games are recognizable with literally one second of audio. These songs are more than just background music. They are an entity all on their own. I took a quiz a little while back that put various video game music songs against each other in a sort of tournament format. And it started with around 40 songs and one by one, I would select which one I preferred. Sometimes the choice was super difficult, like Mantis Lords from Hollow Knight. And Escape from the City from Sonic Adventure 2. Like, how am I supposed to choose between those two? Eventually, in the end, I was left with two choices. We All Live Together from Warframe. and Dearly Beloved from Kingdom Hearts. I won't tell you which one I chose until a bit later, but both of these songs have at one time sent chills up my spine and made me feel certain emotions that only seem to come out when I listen to these songs. I love them both so much, and I have them on my playlist that I listen to almost every single day. These aren't just songs from video games, they are music and they are art all on their own. Some game devs have even gone so far as to make bands from their characters in their game and have them make actual music. I'm looking at you, KDA from League of Legends, and that's only one group. Uh, let's take League, for example. They have put together four bands in total, and all of them have at least one fully animated music video. Why does Riot do this? Money. Each of these bands has an in-game skin line well, as of recording, most of them do, but it's only a matter of time until all of them do. But money, money is the simple answer. But Riot also knows that video game music can be more than just the characters that it's attached to. 
They bring big name artists in to gain attention and hype and then release a song that's loosely based around the game, but not so intertwined with the game that someone who doesn't play it can't enjoy it. It's a brilliant strategy, honestly, because no matter what the song ends up being, whether it's good or bad, people are going to talk about it. Some people love KDA and others, like me, don't really care about it or care for it. However you view this music, it's gonna get the attention, and that attention turns into money. Now, not every attempt at creating music in a game is a cash grab attempt. Sometimes, it's just the person that you put in charge of making a game soundtrack is like a musical genius and he will not be denied. Soakin. I don't know how much of FF14's music I can put into this video without getting demonetized. Who knows, this video is probably fucked anyway. But just do yourself a favor and listen to some of his work. It's insane. It's not at all what you would expect from a video game composer. There are tracks that go from ska to jazz to electronic rock. It's crazy the range that FF14's music has. Then there's people like Mick Gordon who just fucking crush it with one genre of music on the Doom soundtrack. And I would say that video games have entered into a new era of incredible soundtracks, but then there's games like Chrono Trigger or Donkey Kong Country who've had killer soundtracks forever. I don't know. I'm just beginning to think that video game soundtracks are pretty fucking rad. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who shares that feeling. All right, all right, all right, enough of that. Y'all want to hear more about RuneScape's music, right? Okay, so here we go. One of the most important things I think to consider with RuneScape's music is the nostalgia that accompanies it and the feelings associated with that nostalgia. I said before in one of my previous videos, there's a reason why I start every RuneScape video with the song Harmony. And the reasons for that are, one, it's a great calming song that allows me to set up the video and tell you a little bit of what I'm going to be doing. And most importantly, it's the song you hear once you leave Tutorial Island and spawn into Lumbridge. Spawning in and hearing this song is something that has been ingrained in people's minds for a very long time. I asked my expert friend about this and he told me about his first experiences in the game and how he remembers that song specifically. So I use this as a tactic to bring veteran players in and use their nostalgia against them. It's a super sinister plot if I do say so myself. I don't know if it works how I plan it in my head, but the attempt is there to draw in that audience. Because as you already know, I don't really have a ton of nostalgia for RuneScape. I didn't grow up playing this game like a lot of other people did, so I'm really relying here on the music that the game has to bring in more people like that into my videos. I can only imagine what it must have been like to be a young kid going into the Elvark fight and hearing this for the first time. It must have been a crazy adrenaline rush to deal with that. And I mean, honestly, I felt a little bit of that myself, and I'm a full-ass adult. And I don't think I'll ever be able to hear the Fight Caves music without some sort of sweat-induced flashbacks. Ugh. All of the songs here help paint a picture of what's going on in the world or in an activity that you're in, and they really do add to the experience. RuneScape isn't known for its graphics in terms of high quality, but with the music, you're still transported into another world, and that's something you can't take away from it. That combined with the wonders of imagination, you can get incredible combinations that are hard to replicate. Obviously, graphics aren't everything when it comes to making a good game. But what about bad music? Could it be even more impactful on how people enjoy it? If you take Undertale for an example, it is not a good looking game by any means. I'm going to preface this by saying I fucking love Undertale. Do not come at me with this. You know it's not pretty. But the music in that game is so iconic and so good that you don't really mind the kind of goofy graphics and you kind of learn to love them. You know what I'm saying? It's a mixture of the characters, the charm, the dialogue, but also a mixture of the music. You can't deny that hearing Bone Trousel, you won't think of Papyrus. And you definitely can't think of Megalovania without thinking of Sans. Whether it's a meme now or not, you can't deny that the music in Undertale is a massive part of what makes that game so extremely special. I'm going to talk to you now about the spice of life. Variety. Oh boy. Oh boy, the music in this game has a ton of it. You've got sinister brooding music that prepares you for an epic encounter.
There's adventurous music telling you that you're about to embark on incredible journeys. There's relaxing lo-fi beats to farm XP to. And then there's this. Whatever this is. You've got jazz, you've got rock. There are so many tracks in this game and they're all varied in their own ways, allowing the game to have tons of flexibility in terms of the overall feel and themes that the music can portray. So when adventuring around, you never really get tired of the songs that are playing because they're constantly changing with the zones that you walk through or the activities you take part in, they are always changing on you. Now I know that some people are thinking, man, I am tired of the music in this game though. I keep hearing the same song over and over again. Well, yeah, of course you are. RuneScape is one of the most grind heavy games I've ever played or seen. So it's natural that those people who stick with hundreds of hours of grinding will get sick of the music that's being played. But take what I'm saying as a new player who hasn't put in thousands of hours into the game. There are 751 music tracks in this game according to the wiki. Holy fuck that is so many. All of those vary in length from the shortest, which is Snowflake in My Arm at 1 minute and 17 seconds, to Museum Medley at a prog rock length of 11 minutes and 10 seconds. I don't even know how many hours of music there is in this game. And as I was doing my research for this, apparently RuneScape 3 has even more at a staggering 1360 fucking tracks. Between the two games, there's over 2,000 music tracks. If you can't find something you fuck with within that selection, I just, I think you might just not like music. That just could be it. That's blowing my fucking mind. Holy shit, that's so much work put into the music. I guess. RuneScape 3 has earned a Guinness World Record for the most original music tracks in a single video game. That's absolutely fucking insane. Music is cool, you know? I'm not really a musician myself. I can hit things with sticks to make some noise, but I don't generally create music. And I've always had a fascination and an immense amount of respect for the people who can create music. And to be able to create hundreds of tracks for a game is absolutely no small feat. Those tracks are gonna live on for as long as the internet exists. And I think that's super important and super special to keep in mind. These tracks are part of the game and they make it what it is. And I think that's gonna be enough rambling from me for today. I wanna thank everyone for their patience as I get my life balance back in order. It's been a little bit of a rocky road this last uh, month or so, but starting to get back in the groove of things, starting to feel it more. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all later. Goodbye.